the best defense. May I interest you in some of my fine wares? No. We're just gonna sell You've this. made a good bit of... You've got a great deal. You've made a good bit of gold. Don't sell all of this because uh, like, it's well, usually like in the tutorial dungeons you find one of the kind items, but whatever. I have everything for the budding. Let's do business. You've made a good bit of gold. Um, that seems a fair price. I installed a mod. A fine transact. That's a good. Wow. Um, I installed a mod that lets your You've made character a um, level up faster. That's more than I'd usually pay. You drive a hard bargain. Thank you for... You too. Yep. Um, that I installed a mod pretty much that makes your character level up faster, so if you're wondering why I'm already at level 2. I'm gonna keep the skill sword. And we're gonna go into Smash and Smash. They meet one of my favorite characters. Herbal Grow Oracle knows you need axes and blunt weapons. Big ones. So he makes them and sells them here. Slash and Smash. The big orc weapon shop. Big weapons for big heroes. Are you calling me fat? Okay. Armor. Weapons. I have it all. How may I... That's a fair deal. That's a fair deal. Sell the cloak. Keep the bow just in case. Actually, no, we'll sell the bow because when we go to Wayne and Priory, like Boris said, um, there, we can get better. A fine transaction. But we'll keep the arrows, though. Uh, I'll sell a good price. We'll sell like stuff. A good price. I'm gonna keep the repair cards because we can use those to repair our crap. <laughs> Enough talk. Alright, I just... Yeah, I think that the I think the game developers will think where if you like don't buy anything, I or like you just sell it, like everything to them, I think they're, um, they don't like you, like they're, um, what do they call that? They're, um, what do they call that? <sighs> that you're like, oh, hold on, let me, like, let me show you. We're always on. Yeah. We'll see. Like, this thing, they're, um, they're disposition, they're disposition. Anyway, like, that, this will go down, I think, if you, like, just sell everything to them and you don't buy anything. Alright, first, we are going to, uh, in-game we're gonna sleep, and then we are going to level up, and then we're going to continue on with the main quest. Greetings, Breton. Yeah, uh, thanks. Greetings to you. Um... Trying to find a place to sleep though. Uh, Vulgarin, the place we were just at, has a place where we can sleep. Guys, I'm sad that um, my favorite water is almost gone.
Yep. This guy. Let's keep me from fast traveling. What? Oh, I guess there's another mud crab somewhere. We'll go there later. Because we kind of have to do it for the main quest. What I like about Oblivion more is that all these towns are already discovered for you. In Skyrim, you just have, you have to, like, literally, you have to discover everything for yourself. You have to, like, walk to everywhere. Alright. Let's talk to Nefer. It's you. Hi. Do you ever do any shopping at Northern Goods? I haven't needed anything there in a while. Sure I will soon, though. Take care. Good day. Yes? Indeed. Well... Okay, I probably should have kept the dialogue in, but whatever. I'm Brother Joffrey. What do you want? Um, the Emperor said something about you. Well, this cannot be. No one but the Emperor is permitted to handle the amulet. Let me see it. By the Nine, this is the Amulet of Kings. Who are you? How did you get this? What do you know of the Emperor's death? Um, I was there. As unlikely as your story sounds, I believe you. Only the strange destiny of Uriel Septim could have brought you to me carrying the Amulet of Kings. Close shut the jaws of oblivion. His meaning is unclear to me as well. The Emperor seemed to perceive some threat from the demonic world of oblivion. The Prince of Destruction, Merun's Dagon, is one of the Lords of Oblivion. But the mortal world is protected from the Daedra of Oblivion by magical barriers. How can Oblivion threaten us, then? I'm not sure. Only the Emperors truly understand the meaning behind the rituals of coronation. The Amulet of Kings is ancient. Guys, I, um, I'm, out of, uh, I, I'm, out, of, I'm out of flavored water. I'm very when depressed. When an Emperor is crowned, he uses the Amulet to light the dragon fires at the Temple of the One in the Imperial City. I'm sure. With the Emperor dead and no new heir crowned, the dragon fires in the temple will be dark for the first time in centuries. Well, that's negative. It may be that the dragon fires protected us from a threat that only the Emperor was aware of. All right. Okay, the Emperor asked me to find his son. I am one of the few who know of his existence. Many years ago, I served as captain of Uriel's bodyguards, the Blades. One night, Uriel called me into his private chambers. A baby boy lay sleeping in a basket. Uriel told me to deliver him somewhere safe. He never told me anything else about the baby, but I knew it was his son. From time to time, he would ask about the child's progress. No now it seems that this illegitimate son is the heir to the Septim throne, if he yet lives. Hopefully. His name is Martin. He serves Akatosh in the chapel in the city of Kvach, south of here. You must go to Kvach and find him at once. If the enemy is aware of his existence, as seems likely, he is in terrible danger. And please, let me know if there's anything you need. Spoiler alert. My resources here are limited, but I will help in any way I can. It will be safest here with me. 
When you return with Martin, we will figure out our next move. I keep a few things here in my chest to resupply traveling blades. Help yourself to whatever you need. Right, there are some good goodies in here. Your first priority now. See, you could also ask him. I don't have much here at hand, but you're welcome to anything you need from my chest. Prior Mabril and Brother Pina may also be able to help. Yeah, if you also waste ask, no time, um, you must find right Martin. Welcome, good citizen. Here, perhaps you will find this useful. One of the books I saved from my blades training. You go into danger. Joffrey didn't tell us any more than that, but. Know that our prayers go with you. Yeah, if you ask this guy for assistance, if you ask Joffrey for assistance, he'll give you this stuff in the chest. If you ask this guy, he'll give you a book that increases your block skill. Goodbye. And if you ask the, the other dude, good evening. Uh, this guy. If you ask this guy, he'll give you your he'll give you his horse. But it doesn't really matter that we have. The ability to take his horse because we can just fast track it to there. Okay. All oh, this guy. Come on! Run while there's still time! The guard still holds the road, but it's only a matter of time before they're overwhelmed! Oh no. God's blood! You don't know, do you? Deidre overran Kvatch last night! There were glowing portals outside the walls, gates to oblivion itself. There was a huge creature, something out of a nightmare, came right over the walls, blasting fire that swarmed around it, killing. The whole city can't be destroyed. Go and see for yourself. Kvatch is a smoking ruin. We're all that's left. Do you understand me? Everyone else is dead. Dead! How did you escape? It was Savly and Matthias. Some of the other guards helped some of us escape. They cut their way out, right through the city gates. Savly and says they can hold the road. No! No! I don't believe him! Nothing can stop them! If you'd seen it, you'd know! I'm getting out of here before it's too late! They'll be here any minute, I'm telling you! Run when you can! Well, that guy's nuts. I've looked at... Everywhere. Perhaps and she's still looking back to the basement. That is the quest marker for... a... DLC called the Shivering Owls, which, which you probably already know that. But we are going to get to that later, after we complete the main quest. All right, we're gonna get up here, and then we're gonna save, and then we're going to stop the recording, and then continue on part five. Wait, is there some mod or something? Because I don't remember this. Stand back, civilian. Okay. 
This is no place for you. Get back to the encampment at once. We lost the damn city. That's what happened! It was too much. Too fast. We were overwhelmed. Couldn't even get everyone out. There are still people trapped in there. Some made it to the chapel, but others were just run down in the streets. The Count and his men are still holed up in the castle. And now we can't even get back into the city to help them! With that damned oblivion gate blocking the way. The only thing we can do... We'll try to hold our ground, that's what. If we can't hold this barricade, those beasts could march right down and overrun the encampment. I have to try and protect the few civilians that are left. It's all I can do now. Okay. Oh, I know what this is. Okay. You want to help? You're kidding, right? Hmm. If you're serious, maybe I can put you to use. It'll likely mean your death, though. Are you sure? Uh, yep. I don't know how to close this gate, but it must be possible, because the enemy closed the ones they opened during the initial attack. I just realized that... You can that see the marks on the ground where they were. Was there was because the great I gate right in the middle. Lets you repair I sent men into the gate to see if they could find a way to shut it. They haven't come back. If you can get in there, find out what happened to them. If they're alive, help them finish the job. If not, see what you can do on your own. The best I can say is good luck. If you make it back alive, we'll be waiting for you. Alright. Good luck. It's a brave thing you're doing. Okay. This guy's responding to the Anyway. We are going to save. I'm going to end this video right here. We're going to carry on going into the Oblivion Gate in the next part.